the concept really strive from providing a destination for boaters on Lake Simcoe and just doing something that's a destination that not just anyone in Lake Simcoe can come to, but anyone that's an avid boater. You know, I look at Ready Rock and, and you look at how it blends well with obviously everything here that they've constructed. All in all, I know that Friday Harbor's board of directors and, and their whole team looked at alternative options and they found that Ready Rock was the best fit and the best solution for this project. With Friday Harbor being a resort that's focused around a marina, Ready Rock was essential in the success of this project because really the marina and the pier we see here today is a focal point of the resort and, and the project as a whole. First day we got here, the large size of the block was kind of an eye-opener. Within the days the crew got on to the style and the installation process for it, as the challenges came on and the production needed to be boosted, we had about seven pieces of equipment and eight or nine men per day installing the Ready Rock product. This was the first time that I worked with a Ready Rock product. One of the things I liked most about it, we had that texture face on the wall, but because of the, the form line, that gave us a reference point and actually to get alignment. Being as critical that the layout was for this project, uh, I think using another product would have been difficult. This was about uh, three to four years in the making, and when it came time to manufacture the blocks, we were doing so at uh, an incredible pace. We had over 75 forms in, in production. We were moving over 200 cubic meters of concrete a day. We implemented what was called a zero tolerance policy. And if people know in construction, people like, there's always some tolerance. We can be off by a few millimeters. We're like, no, not, not in this case. Being four and a half kilometers long, if two people started on the same end and they worked around to meet at the end, if you were off by a millimeter or a centimeter and that was exaggerated over four and a half kilometers, by the time you meet, you're probably meters off and the wall's not going to meet. We would have rock trucks working alongside the Ready Rock installing crew doing the excavation work at the same time. So also you can imagine digging in a basement, all of the, the water, all the rainwater would be actually be going down into the lowest lying area. And since it's such a large site, we would constantly flood it out. So there was also a, a massive undertaking with pumping of water to make sure that everything was managed and that the crews could continue building the wall. It ended up being probably one of the most interesting and rewarding project that our young crew has ever done. And every time we come here, we look back and just realize, wow, we've completed this fairly large project.